All right, let's practice multiplying decimals and whole numbers. I love doing this. Multiplying decimals and whole numbers is really just like multiplying regular numbers, whole numbers, and then at the end, you move a decimal. That's it. Okay, so Emma's cleaning uses one, Emma's cleaning uses three and one tenth bottles of shampoo each day. How many bottles will Emma use in five days? So in one day, she uses three and one tenth of a bottle or bottles. We want to know how many would be used in five days. So my multiplication problem is three and one tenth times five. When I multiply decimals, I don't need to line things up by place value. Okay, we're going to ignore the decimal for now and just multiply. One times five equals five. And three times five equals 15. Now my answer is not 155, okay? My decimal is here. It was moved over one place. So that means my decimal needs to move one place in my answer. So that means my answer is 15 and 5 tenths. Next one. The city needs to build more fire hydrants. For every block, they need to build 3.2 fire hydrants. With five blocks needing hydrants, how many hydrants need to be built? So they need 3.2 hydrants per block, and they have five blocks they need to do. So we multiply 3 and 2 tenths times 5. Are we worried about place value right now? No. Are we worried about the decimal? No. Okay, two times five is 10, carry the one. Three times five is 15, plus one more is 16. My decimal place was moved over once in my problem as it was given, so that means my decimal needs to be moved over one here. So that means they need 16 hydrants built. Okay, next one. Abigail scores four and four tenth goals a game. After two games, how many goals has she scored? Okay, so we need to multiply. Four and four tenths times two. Four times two is eight, and four times two is eight. She did not score 88 goals. Since our, we have one decimal place over, that means this decimal has to go over one place. So she scored eight and eight tenths goals over two games. Sophia needs a lot of bananas. She buys three and three tenth bunches, each with five bananas. How many bananas does Sophia have? Okay, so she has three and three tenth bunches, and each bunch has five. We need to know the total number of bananas, so we're going to multiply three and three tenths times five. Okay, three times five is 15. Carry my one. Three times five is 15, plus one is 16. So, my decimal is over one spot here, which means I need to move a decimal one spot here. So she has purchased 16 and a half bananas. Next one. After a good day of work, Owen expects to have sold four cars. How many cars will he sell after three and one tenth good days? So three and one tenth days with four cars each of those days. So we need to multiply three and one tenth times four. So we have four times one is four and three times four is 12. This decimal is over one spot. So I need to move this decimal over one spot. So that would be equivalent to 12 and four tenth cars. Next. After a good day of work, Alexander expects to have sold four cars. How many cars will he sell after three and tenths two good days? So four cars every day for three and two tenths days. 
So we want to know the total number of cars over that time period. So we multiply. 2 times 4 is 8, and 4 times 3 is 12. I'm going to bring over my decimal once below because it's over one spot in my multiplication problem. So that would be equivalent to 12 and 8 tenth cars. Next one. Chloe buys three and a half boxes of donuts, each containing three donuts. How many donuts does she have? Okay, so she has three and a half boxes, and each box has three donuts. We want to know the total number of donuts, so we're going to multiply three and a half times three. Five times three is 15. Carry the one. Three times three is nine, plus one more is 10. Since my decimal is over once, I need to move this decimal over once. So she has 10 and a half donuts. Next, after a good day of work, Maya expects to have sold two cars. How many cars will she sell after two and one tenth good days? So on one day, she sells two cars. How many would that be? after two and one-tenth days. Let's multiply. Two and one-tenth times two. Do we worry about place value right now or the decimal? Nope. So one times two equals two. And two times two equals four. We need to move our decimal over one place because there's one decimal place in my problem. So Four and two tenths cars is what she would have sold. Next, after a good day of work, Mason expects to have sold two cars. How many cars will he have sold after three and four tenths good days? So over three and four tenths days, he sells two cars every day. So let's multiply three and four tenths times two. Four times two equals eight. Three times two equals six. And because I have one decimal place here, I need to move this decimal one decimal over. So this means he would have sold six and eight tenth cars. Let's do one more. For class, Darren needs to read two and a half books, each with two chapters. How many chapters does he have to read? Okay. He needs to read two and a half books, and each of those books has two chapters. We want to know how many total chapters. So we need to multiply two and a half times two. What's five times two? Ten. Carry my one. Two times two is four, plus one more is five. And because I have one decimal place here, I need to move my decimal one place and the answer. So that means how many chapters would he have read? Five chapters. Great job multiplying these decimals.